Welcome to this week's edition of Life and Books. I'm Abby Rhodes. And I'm Brenda Berry. And this week we're going to talk about bad reviews, bad critiques, critiquing, that kind of stuff. Um, and the reason why we're talking about this is because this week on my blog, um, Author on the Couch, I have um, hosted Shauna Kelly. And Shauna Kelly is a 2016 Golden Heart finalist, and she shared a story about a really bad contest judge. And I think most of us writers have had to like deal with like the horrible judge or a horrible review at some point. So I think it's kind of like something that we need to talk about instead of like always hiding it and feeling bad about it. Like we should really just talk about it and put it out there. Maybe then people would be nicer. I don't know. <laughs> You know, the, I think it's sometimes it's the devastating critique that you get that sort of almost makes you question whether you should even still be writing. Like, are you strong enough to continue if this is what you're going to face? You know, and when I was first starting out, and I don't know if I ever told you this story, but when I was first starting out, like very, very first starting out, I had um, our local, uh, one of our local writing chapters was offering um uh, they had a presentation and they were bringing in some author and I don't even remember who the name was of this lady. Um, but we, this is before I had any critique partners and she offered um, a 10 page critique for $50 and I never had a critique before. So I paid the $50 and sent my pages to her. And like a week before I got that critique back, I just happened to win another critique from a different author and she critiqued my 10 pages and was a fabulous critique you know it was all about the things that worked and the things that didn't work and you know kind of like industry standard stuff that like I was so new I didn't even know at the time um, so then I go to this workshop and I get back my 10 page critique that I paid $50 for and I am not kidding I got back 20 pages instead of 10 because no kidding every single sentence that I had written this lady commented on and not in a positive way and it was things like even it's probably been six or seven years and I still remember some of the comments she said gag me oh, wow. was one <laughs> I want to vomit your writing is schizophrenic you know I mean she really said some really hurtful things and if I hadn't had that first critique that had been positive but helpful I might have quit because that was like right when I was new, right when I was kind of like fragile, right when I didn't know what I was doing. And I just think sometimes like how can an author do that to another author without even realizing what the impact that that has, you know? So I think I need to point out here that there's a real difference in getting a critique from someone you don't know versus someone you do know. So those two examples you gave were um, your first, and they didn't know that those were the first critiques that you'd ever gotten, but that was right. someone who was a stranger to you. And as a professional, you would expect a very professional critique, like the one who said this is an industry standard and this is what you need to look for right. uh, in commercial right. fiction. That sounds very constructive criticism to me gag me does not exactly and, yeah and your writing is schizophrenic and at the time I was like I'm a mental health counselor I know what schizophrenic is and my <laughs> writing is not schizophrenic you know but it was like it could have been really really devastating and I wonder like if somebody else in my position had not had if I had not had that first critique I would have quit and I just think it's like I don't know. It was just very, very crazy that that would even happen, that that even does still happen to people. 